in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and the peace of our good Lord be with you always. Dear friends, today we celebrate Mary and honor her under the title of Our Lady of Sorrows. So as we begin our Holy Mass, we beg her to pray with us and for us as we ask mercy from our Father. Lord Jesus, from among all women, Mary was chosen as your mother. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. She gave birth to the Word made flesh at Bethlehem stable. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Mary, as faithful disciple, stood at the foot of your cross. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering. Grant that your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. So though he was son, he learned obedience from what he suffered and what he was made perfect and when he was made perfect he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to, to god. god save me o lord in your kindness save, save me, me o lord, lord in, in your, your kindness. kindness in you o lord i take refuge let me never be put to shame in your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, Save me O Lord, Lord, in, in your, your kindness. kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, Save me O Lord, Lord, in your, in your kindness. kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save, Save me, O Lord, Lord, in your, in your kindness. kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O oh Lord, Lord, in, in your, your kindness. kindness. How great is your goodness, O oh Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which, toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save, Save me, O oh Lord, Lord, in, in your, your kindness. kindness. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How many times um, we hear of uh, statues of the Blessed Mother in churches near and far that uh, are weeping. And I never got that. Uh, I, I never was able to quite grasp it because Mary, a soon body and soul into heaven, has the beatific vision. She is in the presence of her son. I mean, what is there to weep about? Shouldn't the statues be laughing or dancing instead? And so many times when we hear reports of Mary appearing in different places in Fatima or Lourdes or, or Medjugorje or all sorts of places, she's always filled with sorrow. Again, she's in heaven. Um, how can she be weeping or sorrowful? How can we even have a feast, Our Lady of Sorrows? Mary's sorrows were in seeing the body of her son tortured and wounded and bruised and hanging on a cross. Mary's sorrow was seeing her son suffering. And if we believe that the church is the body of Christ. Wherever the church is suffering today from persecution, from, from the effect of scandal, from a dearth of vocations, from, from people's unbelief or, or lack of practice, whatever it may be, where the body of Christ is suffering and wounded, Mary stands at the foot of that cross as well. I can't quite understand it. Lord knows I can't quite explain it. Because for us, it's difficult to be full of joy and sad at the same time. But Mary rejoices in the presence of God, and she's filled with sorrow when she sees our suffering. And so we have a mother, uh, a mother who deeply cares for us as deeply as she cares for her own son. God love you. And now, with the prayers of our Blessed Mother, let us come before our Heavenly Father with our prayers. And, and first of all, we pray for our Holy Father. And we pray for Bishop Malesic, now installed yesterday as Bishop of Cleveland. May God help him to be a worthy, holy, and gentle pastor of the Church of Cleveland we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also remember to pray for the suffering church where she is persecuted, where she is underground, where wherever the work of the gospel and freedom of worship and religion is impeded. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember to pray for those who are suffering, 
from coronavirus, from any illness or problem. May Mary, our mother, be their comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And also, we pray for our beloved dead. For Francis Moran, remember to today's Holy Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for every one of our own needs, for our own intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, Heavenly Father, please, give us all that we ask, for we come to you in the name of Jesus. He is Lord, now, always, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. In my iniquity, cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Sorrows, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your son, Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels adore you. They rejoice in your presence. May our voices now join with theirs in one chorus of praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the very body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant it will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome Francis into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Adelbert, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us pray as the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not in our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of our Lord be with you always, and as best we can, we share the gift of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Dear friends, behold the Lamb of God, the Lord who takes away the sin of the world. 
Happy are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. A prayer of spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, again in this time of pandemic and virus, I am unable to come to your Father's house to receive you sacramentally in Holy Communion. I ask today that you come and make your presence within my heart. I ask that you ask your own mother to pray with me and for me that in all things I may know love and serve God and never allow me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her son we may complete in ourself for the church's sake what is lacking in the suffering of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go to serve and to love our Lord. Thanks be to God.